today we're gonna learn how to drive this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Needs we an have engine. all the cameras ready. We have, you know, we're gonna be three of us learning how to row. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're actually going to drive this one. We're going to learn how to drive a powerboat. You know why? Because I have a need. A need for speed. <laughs> Well guys, we have been cruising around on our sailboat for almost eight years now. And in that eight years, our boat's been registered in Canada because I'm Canadian. And in Canada, you don't need any kind of official boating license to operate your own private vessel. So we've been cruising around without any kind of paperwork or licensing, proving that we know what we're doing on a sailboat. And for the most part, that hasn't been much of an issue, but there has been times in the past where having a license or a piece of paper would have made clearing in and out of countries or dealing with the authorities so much easier. So while we're here in Gibraltar and we've got our friends at All Aboard Sailing Academy, we are going to be jumping on a powerboat and getting our advanced powerboat license. And we're going to be jumping on a sailboat and getting our ICC, which stands for the International Certificate of Competency, which is basically just like a driver's license and the international part means it's internationally recognized. A lot of countries understand what it is, which will allow us to rent or charter boats if we need to. And it will also give us just a few more shiny pieces of paper so that we can prove to authorities that we know what we're doing when it comes to boat handling. So today we're gonna go jump on uh, a powerboat and we're gonna become power boaters. James is gonna teach us how to drive it like we stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing this line no, all morning. No, so. no comment, no comment. <laughs> We, before we go out to sea, we'll always pack in like a little powerboat uh, first aid kit. Now we've got two kits, okay? So I've got one in there for coding, so for the commercial aspect, and then I like to pack my own little one. So I just check this every so often, and I make sure that it's got what I need in it, like plasters, little things like that. It's just a bit of an extra kit, just in case. Flares. Little hot handheld flares. I, I know that's a commercial boat. I know it's been checked, but... I know that these came out from my hands, from my storage facility. I know this is my grab bag. I know these are going to work. I'm meant to have a glove, so I always wear a gauntlet glove when I do it, just to be sure, okay? Um, obviously choose the left or the right. Now I choose the left because I'm more dexterous with my right hand, mm -hmm. so it could be the other way around. So when you're putting that in for your subscribers, guys, just make sure they use the dominant hand to open, because we will open it briefly, just to show you. It's not going to like... No, it won't. So that's what it comes in then all I've got to do is like that, okay? So that is really, really straightforward as you can see, but I need my dominant hand to open it because we're in an emergency. We're gonna be like that already, so I need to make sure I've got a good good grip of it. cord around your leg. Do you your clip top, it like this? Oh. So top oh, leg here. over here. Yeah, not as tight as you can, but just comfortable. Okay. That's it. Put that over the kill cord switch. So I'm now, just so you know, I'm just going to wrap this around here, just in case you come off. I, it will also kill the engine, or I can pull it. All right. Okay. So now we're going to turn that key. Let him know you're starting up. We're starting. Hi, hi, Captain. Do okay. I let go? And just turn it like a car. And we're off. I get to be the passenger for the first little bit while Kika gets a feel for the boat. And then we'll switch. It's kind of cool. It's a much bigger rib than ours. It's got like a full throttle and an actual helm, big diesel. So it's definitely going to be different than what we're used to. But maybe after today we'll switch over to the dark side and be power boaters. <laughs> Get, I'm happy with that. So when we get into the middle of these two boys, um, I want you to bang it into reverse and get a feel for it in reverse. Okay. And I want you to do it a few, well, a good few times until you're happy. Like going around the buoys. But boys, boys. Boy, boys. 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 No, boys. Boys. The back here. No, that's not. Good. I think I see what my mistake 
was I was looking at the buoy, which is why the boat wanted to go to the buoy. Oh, yeah, what I would like you to do is you're going to tie off alongside that nice and slowly. So let okay. me know when I get about three meters, two meters, one meter. Is, are there cleats? How is this? There's what, like a little handle like? next to it. A like round. a little wing. Oh, yeah, you can see it. You'll, you'll see it's, what to tie off to. This. So we're going a bit closer. Okay. I'll give it a click back once he's secure. Line secured, okay. click back. There we go. That's it. Good. That's fun. Enjoy that? Yes. How do you think you did? I think I did okay. I think you did really well. This, and you Go want that around my leg? Underneath mine? Yeah, that's it. There we go. But realistically, you check your engine lights. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure it feels okay. I tell my grandkids I'm like, yeah. I Come back round on this one. I'm happy. Could you start putting it into reverse when you once you come round on this one? Sure. So like when we're doing a 180. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any further than that? Yeah. So remember, we're going to push in, spin it round, keep it straight, and then start moving when it gets to your beam. Okay, so we're going to use this. That windsock is going to be our best friend today. And we're going to just practice in here the man overboard drills. Guys, I'm actually going to trust you with this. Super. I'm going to leave this here. What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go around this side. So we'll do downwind, left and right, and then we're going to go upwind, left and right. And we're right. going to keep it at about 10 knots, just to keep... Just, just to up on a about... plane, but not quite? Yeah, up on right. a plane, yeah. We're getting ready on that hook. I think that was really good. That was okay. What I would say is just trust the happy place a little bit. Yeah. Because this happy place, look, you can actually stop the boat right now. Take the kill cord off, put yeah, it yeah. over there, and you can go and help Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need you to trust the happy place. Start it up again. We're going to do that again until you get it right. Until you, sorry, until you're happy with it. You've got yeah. it right. You've got Bob. Okay. You're 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 like Dan. You just go for the. You adapt. You overcome. You're like a royal bloody marine. You just literally go in like you're coming in like I'm turning this bad boy. It, <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't. Either way, you've you've got it. Good. Well done. <laughs> If you could do anything again differently on any part of that, what would it be? Probably docking. Yeah. On, big, on bigger, but I mean, that's just I mean, every boat's different. Every boat's different. I mean, if you're, the wind's yeah. kind of more on the beam than it was earlier, too. Yeah, yeah. so just, just one thing for me so some constructive feedback. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit when you're building up a rapport with like a client, which you mm -hmm. were, uh, <laughs> I was happy with that. Um, there's one little thing, um, and it was just towards the end when you knocked it into reverse mm -hmm. and he didn't let me know you were doing it. Mm. So I kind of went, oh, like yeah, that. yeah. Now, if I, was, if I was a little bit older, I might have fallen over. But I'm happy with that because okay. as long as long as you, you yeah, because I saw that she missed that one and we were off this way already, knowing the stern was going to go over there. And that I was and, trying not to bump into that boat. Yeah, and yeah. and that goes with uh, with anything with boating. It goes with like kind of all oh, the panic because mm -hmm. for me that's a school boat and you're thinking oh, I don't want to bang James's boat, I don't want to bang <laughs> Dave's boat. But 
if it does bang it, yeah, yeah. you know, James, can you just go on the side? I'm just going to push it away from it. So, it, but other than that, I'm, I was good. You adjusted, you readjusted, you came back in. Fine with that. Your confined space term was good. Your docking and mooring was was fine. I've yeah. got no problem with it. You, you, I think with anything, you're. I think you're a bit like me. You'll beat yourself up on things and think, oh, I did that, I did that, I could have done that. But hey, we could all do things better. Yeah, yeah. It's just how we learn from it at the end of the day. Uh, your man over boards was spot on though. Super. Like, That's literally, the important bit, right? I'd be really happy to be, well, no, I wouldn't be happy to be in the water, but I'd be happy, <laughs> I'd be happy that you would be coming to get me, yeah. you know? I mean, I, I, I felt very safe. You knew exactly what you're doing. Your comms was on point. And uh, yeah, congratulations. Super. Thanks. Power boater. Excellent. Power boater, real power boater. Watch Diesel. out, sailboaters. I'm going to be an asshole now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you could do your little assessment again, would you do it differently? How would you do it differently? The offshore thing, I think I, I was pretty confident. Yeah. The picking up the buoy of the man overboard, I could have done it a little bit differently if I knew exactly what the wind was doing. But as soon as I tried one maneuver and I did, I noticed that there was no wind. And we were both kind of drifting kind of t together. And I felt like it was better to just turn around. Okay. I think you're giving yourself a... I think you're giving yourself a really hard time. Because you were... You were you kept telling yourself you could do it better. Anyone could do anything better. Even if you were at 90%, you're still better than the other 90% that aren't doing it, aren't they? So you, you, you recovered the man overboard, you realized at one point there was no wind and you adjusted immediately, okay? I think where this helps specifically is there's there's been moments where we wished we had a power boat for certain ventures. Like when we were in Portugal, there was this beautiful canal that we couldn't have gone into if we rented the power boat. But we didn't have the confidence or the skills <laughs> to or do that. Right <laughs> going through locks and then going through the river. But do you but, know? Yeah, I, I think we're, I think I'm confident we can charter a boat between the two of us. Power boat lessons with James. www. Sailing.gi. You didn't have to say it. <laughs> All right, guys, today's gonna be fun because today we're going to sailing school, basically. Today we are hopping on the all aboard sailboat, and well, one of their sailboats, and we are heading out to get our ICC, our International Certificate of Competency. It's sort of the bare minimum piece of paper to prove that you sort of know what you're doing on a sailboat. Uh, it should be fun. It's gonna be two days, and today's gonna be learning, and then tomorrow is gonna be our sort of practical exam. Uh, but it's gonna be a nice day. Sunshine, no clouds, good wind. I'm excited. I'm just excited to learn how to dock because <laughs> I know I've been nervous docking our boat since we got our boat and now we're officially going to properly learn how to dock a different boat so I don't feel bad if I hit the dock or anything. <laughs> <laughs> So many boats to choose from. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Hey, there we go. This one? Looks good. So, uh, my name is Miles. I'm the chief instructor of All Abroad Sand Academy. Um, so I invited Kika and Dan because I'm a big fan, basically. <laughs> I saw them while they was um, saw they was walking through Gibraltar, and I said, please just come down and uh, join us and take take a day on the boat for us, and uh, maybe help you guys out with your ICC as well. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, is first of all we'll go down below. Okay, and have a little safety brief for and after the boat, going through all of the compartments, knowing where all the safety equipment is. Yeah. Okay, um, and we'll have a quick look at the life jackets also. Also, we'll have a look at the VHF. We'll come up top here, we'll have a look at different types of distress. So if there was anything, so say the radio didn't work, we could still use, you know, different elements on board, you know, like our flares mm -hmm. and stuff like that to call for distress, and we've got them on board. Um, and also we'll have a look at the life raft as well. Are you ready? I think I am ready. Me too. Let's, uh, yeah, now we can actually say let's, what, grease the tires and... Kick the tires and light the fires. Gre grease it, no, kick the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> grease the windshield. <laughs> wind. Kick the tires and light the fire. Because literally, we're going to use a diesel today. Yeah, what do you think about that? I think it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, we were just talking about this morning. We've been on friends' boats with diesel engines but i don't think we've neither of us actually driven a diesel sailboat before <laughs> i think today is mostly just going to be learning how to drive a diesel boat day 
<laughs> like, I mean, we'll put the sails up at the end just to show we know how to use them. <laughs> now that we'll be able to compare it to the diesel, we'll be able to validate oh, our did. electric is awesome. I I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, we are uh, going out sailing now because it's hot AF and we're gonna do docking stuff tomorrow. But today we're gonna go out sailing. And uh, the two instructors, I think you guys are just gonna take a nap, right? Yeah. I, think, I, think we, I think we got this part. I think we're not just yet. <laughs> I can feel the vibration through the helm. Is that positive or are they... <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I haven't decided yet. It tickles my fingers. Can you give me a nice <laughs> wrist massage? It's less responsive to yours or as you turn the helm? Um, so far I think it's about the same, about to be honest. Because that our, would be the difference. Ours... <laughs> difference here, I'm like... Yes! <laughs> That was, that was a fun little day sail. Was that like five miles or so across, four and a half? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good, it's fun. Very fun. It's slow and smooth. Now we're gonna uh, drink some beer, <laughs> go for a swim. <laughs> you guys are laughing. <laughs> So what's going on then? Why are you? Why well, I just jumped in for the swim and they told me that the showers on these boats are disconnected. <laughs> they don't want their students to smell good. They want to give them the full yachting experience of stinking for a week. So <laughs> I made a shower out of a water bottle and... <laughs> just dunk them into the sea every to see the centre of the berth, right? Which is the middle of your, your berth, okay, all right? So in a moment, three, two, one, put it in tip over. Okay, now we're just looking for the centre of the berth. So not turning yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, and now. Right, and you're gonna keep it hard over until you're kind of lined up with your berth, all right? So now start centering. Beautiful, not too much, just keep an eye on the other boat as well. Well done, really good, really good. Then just to center it up a bit more, center. That's it, perfect. Right. Now just think about putting it in a bit of forward and increase the rev slope. Neutral, neutral. Perfect, look at that. Damn, girl! Isn't that hard, is it? Oh my jeez. <laughs> Did you breathe at all during that maneuver? No, I was holding my breath the entire time. <laughs> Nice. I didn't. I didn't touch anything. I didn't crash anything. You, yeah. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. This guy. But we should probably get the bow. <laughs> yeah. uh, do, we, do we need that? Holy cow! Good job, man. It's a lot harder. That was luck. <laughs> well, you're gonna do it about 16 times tomorrow the exact same way. So we'll see if it's lucky or not. Nice. That's good. How do you think? Nice. What do you... I, 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 yeah. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. I didn't think that I could actually do it for the very first time and do it successfully for the very first time but I think honestly I was less nervous because I know this is not our boat 
Going back to sailing school. We've never been to sailing school. We've never had anybody like proper teach us how to sail. So well, it should be interesting. Already, so. <laughs> <laughs> You've done something right so far. So. <laughs> we have, a, we have, a, we still have our same boat. So. <laughs> yeah, it's not getting holes in it. Super. Well, let's crash this boat, shall we? That's it, and then press it off. So now we're doing what is in the actual ICC assessment, which is tying to a windward, tying alongside to a windward pontoon. The backing <laughs> up part isn't actually in the ICC assessment. But, but it's something that we really wanted to practice. be proficient That's at. That's what we need so. to practice is docking a boat. All right, you want to pull the fenders out? And then we're alongside, and we usually keep it in little tick over reverse, just to keep it pinned against the wall. So yeah, so what, sort what, of what Dan can do, Dan can slip that one and then step back and then do this one. Okay, so I don't have to worry about all yeah, the lines. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, you got time. That's it. Right, keep it about a metre away and now start turning slowly. And turn and turn and turn. Right, and this is where everybody messes up slightly. Just go straight now. And now reverse, and nobody gives it enough, so give it plenty. Plenty, 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 and keep it on until it's stopped. Keep it on, keep it on, and neutral. Perfect, look at that. Yeah, if you back up on it a little bit, we'll see that. Fine. Perfect. Absolutely awesome. Fisty one. That's good. Like that. And I, I like the open up. Wow. Nice. It's a crossing arm thing. We finished our ICC with you, Miles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you think? Yeah, very good. So, first of all, you've passed the ICC, which uh, probably no surprise to the level that you've been doing some manoeuvres, uh, including some stuff that you were unsure of, your stern two parking and stuff like that. So we did some extra little skills that you really enjoyed. But yeah, overall, pretty good. For me, the main thing that I was, I knew I was on and unconfident doing was docking because you guys know I have anxiety when it comes to docking Uma and so when we came here we're like okay Miles I don't care what the ICC is but I want to learn how to dock properly a boat <laughs> in a reverse and forward sideways at an angle upside down whatever it takes and so I think yeah we had a lot of fun today yeah so basically the ICC stands for the International Certificate of Competence as you know um, and really in this case what we're doing it was just an assessment almost like a driving test of the skills that you did mm -hmm. um, and as we see on here we've broken down into three main parts the skills yeah and the boat handling stuff uh, the regulations you got another regulations when going to see um, and also most importantly probably is the safety aspect of stuff um, so the skills basically you just proved that you know handling sails you can sail basically which I'm sure you can I would um, hope so <laughs> yeah you know but, um, obviously we didn't teach you any of that we just assessed it and obviously you guys yeah perfect no problem whatsoever um, we took a little bit of man man overboard and stuff like that and the uh, the stuff you know involved with that mooring ball 
you know, guys you've done plots of, you know. Um, and then really it was like the departing of the pontoon and coming back and side two births, which we did. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, no, it was particularly hard for you. Um, and then, as you said, we just went a little bit further on to that to just give you a couple of little tips and okay. extra stuff that may help you guys in the future. The regulations, which is the boring bit that we went over with. Um, and then the safety, obviously, because we're an RYA school, we really go on to the safety aspects of life jackets and stuff like that, you know, and we're really pretty hot on that sort yeah. of stuff. Um, and then engine checks as well which is slightly different to your boat it's very new to us to turn on a diesel it took me a while to figure out how to turn on the diesel motor actually yeah yeah it can be obviously a new skill for you in this case but um but yeah so yeah we talked a little bit about that so overall you know it's a, it's a really good little little assessment a couple mm -hmm. of days it took us um to just go over things and uh congratulations to a very high standard um should we, should we shake hands yeah of course like and well done official yeah. icc and, uh, holders well done to dan as well <laughs> Thank you. Boom. Well done. That was a I see that was a terrible one. That's about Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I went a bit too hard there, I'm so sorry. Please. <laughs> no, it's fine. I did it for camera effect, I don't know. <laughs> it's official. It's official. We have We hold shiny pieces of plastic. In our hands. That proved that we know how to drive boats after eight years. <laughs> I think it's funny yeah. because, yeah, we've been at this for eight years, right? Yeah, like Din said earlier, we've never had a piece of paper that told people. And I don't think that our YouTube channel is proof enough no. <laughs> for authorities uh, in order to rent a boat or to show that we actually know what we're doing. One of the last things that we wanted to do while we were in Gibraltar was to actually get a piece of paper that says that we can indeed sail a boat. While we're at it, why not learn how to drive a powerboat? I I think we're gonna start or, a saying that says like real sailors rent power boats on vacation because like living on a <laughs> sailboat is our life and so if we're flying into town to visit friends and family or popping in doing like a canal trip or something like that it would be nice to just like rent a power boat from time to time and yeah. not have to worry about sails the icc isn't a requirement for us to drive our own boat because we said earlier because it's canadian flag so it depends what country your vessel's registered in the rules are different for mm -hmm. everybody but what it allows us to do is to charter boats part of what we've realized in the last couple of years is that we've really only ever sailed on our own boat and we've gotten to sail on some friends boats and a few catamarans from time to time but what we really want to do is get on as many boats as we can in the next year or two especially while we're here in the med and the charter market is ridiculous and just get a lot more experience sailing different types of boats. Yeah. Now we're gonna be able to do that. And it's always good to have shiny pieces of paper. I'm excited, you think, uh, you wanna switch to power right now? We're gonna get a big cabin cruiser? I, uh, I make no comments. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll nah. see. Whoa. Power boat, powering Uma. <laughs> Belts and I wobble. Didn't, I didn't even know how to turn on. <laughs> no. Now that I, we're like, uh, like where's, where's the, the key? <laughs> there's no key. Okay, so and there's like a sequence of buttons you have to push to get it in the right order. I don't, still don't remember what it is. Do you remember what wobble stands for? Water, oil, belts, belts, liquid, and electricity. Doesn't wobble have two Bs? Oh. Belts. Belts and bilge. A liquid. We should probably learn And that electricity. Again. <laughs> we, failed. we failed. Go back to school. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was it for this episode, and that was it for probably a whole lot of learning in Gibraltar. <laughs> yeah, now, man, we've, yeah, our now, brains are stretched going back to going back to boating school. Um, yeah. It was fun, though. I'm glad we stopped in. I'm glad we got. I'm glad we did all the things we wanted to do as far as licensing. Yeah, but we're super excited because next week we're gonna have a friend with us, and she's gonna stay with us for a month. I think excited. it's the first time that we'll have a friend staying with us for more than a day well yeah on like Seth stayed on, with us like for a living while, with but, like, us we were sitting in marina the whole time one of my best friends from childhood is coming for a month so it's gonna be fun to have it's gonna be awesome board. so yeah come back next week to see all about it and like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll, we'll see you in the next episode cheers <laughs>